Nothing like losing your drone when you're trying to make a video on how not to lose your drone. When you fly on the Mavic Mini and the battery's getting low, you've got various safety features that'll kick in designed to try and keep your drone safe and sound. You've got automatic return to home and you've even got critical low battery auto land. Some of these procedures you can override, some you can cancel. In the most part, they work very well and do keep your drone out of harm's way, but occasionally they're gonna have unintended consequences and they can actually make the situation even worse for yourself. And that is what I'm talking about today. Hello, I'm Ian and today I am using the Mavic Mini to explain some of the features that kick in when the battery is getting low. And the reason for today's video is it's been inspired by the tale of woe that one of my subscribers uh, outlined on a, a pretty long message on one of my videos the other week where he described cancelling the low battery return to home but then got caught out by the critical battery auto land that he couldn't override and despite the drone only being around 40 meters away from himself it ended up landing in a place that he just could not retrieve it from it ended up taking him about two or three hours to actually managed to get round and and retrieve the drone so i tried to explain to him that there are certain features that you can't override but there are certain inputs you can put onto the remote that will actually uh, slow down what's happening and either way i thought it'd probably be a good idea to go through exactly what happens as the battery is getting low uh, what functions are going to kick in what you can cancel what you can override and what you can steer and uh, and slow down if you like to try and stop something going wrong too fast So I'm taking off in a different part of the garden today because some of the return to home features uh, behave differently depending on whether you are less than or more than 20 meters away or 65 feet away from the recorded home point where you'd actually take off. So I'm taking off here. This is where the home point has been recorded. Now I can fly over there and go through some of the different features. So you can see that the battery indicator is, is already flashing red and to the right of that you've got the remaining flight time indicator. Now this is constantly recalculating, working out how much time you've got based on how far away you are from the home point and um, how much battery power you've got left. So the further away you fly, the less remaining flight time you've got. So again, in that, in that sense, it's pretty clever, but it's not fail safe. Today I'm flying out into the wind so that when it goes into a return to home mode, it'll be flying with the wind. And that's a crucial point because you're actually flying out with the wind. Um, the Mini is not going to know that when it goes into return to home mode, it's going to actually have to be fighting the wind. And that can have a grave consequence on whether or not the return to home is successful or not. Okay, so first off, you've got the low battery. Now, when you've got the low battery, you can choose to cancel it. If you don't cancel, after an eight second time, uh, countdown, the drone will rise up to either 20 meters or your return to home altitude that is pre-programmed in the settings. You'll then fly back in a straight line to the home point. This is one of the things you can cancel. So I can cancel at any point here. And that means you're gonna have full control over the movement of the drone itself. You can raise the altitude, you can lower the altitude, you can change direction, and you can fly at home manually. Now there are times when you may want to cancel it because you're comfortable that you've actually got enough battery just to get back uh, that short distance. Or it may be that you don't want it rising up to the pre-programmed return to home level. Now in this particular case, I've canceled this. I've also got the drone up quite high. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep on flying now until we get the critical battery. So at this point now, you've got the critical battery landing and it's a bit of a nasty old, and now you can see the drone is going into descent. Now, Unless I want to go wading around in, my, uh, in that cornfield, I need to take action. So when it's gone into critical landing, you, can, you can't cancel critical landing, but you can adjust it. So you can change the direction of flight. 
you can change the direction to come back towards you but every time you let go of the drone it's going to keep on trying to uh, descend so let's just bring it a lot closer to me now because i don't want to be going around in that so whilst it's in critical battery you can still lift the left stick and it will rise up and that's a crucial point to remember but the moment you let go the drone will continue to try and land and then eventually it will no longer and there we go and at some point the battery gets so low that it just says tough luck i need to land now and if you're over water that's bad news because um, you're going to lose it um, if you're over a soft crop then you can easily go and retrieve it and at this point you can then uh, use the find my drone function So if the aircraft is disconnected, as it has in this case, you go into the first screen, you can press the, you press the connect aircraft. In the top right, you've got the option of camera view. You click that. Now it's telling me that obviously the battery has completely depleted and the drone switched off. So you top three buttons, top right, scroll down, and you get to find my drone. And then what you've got is you are the blue dot and you need to walk in the direction of the arrow hopefully the green line will shorten you can also turn on layers turn on the satellite Nothing like losing your drone when you're trying to make a video on how not to lose your drone. Right, according to the find my drone function, it is literally within a meter or two of this location. So have you found it, Molly? Come on. That's it. Now we've got it. <clears throat> Come on, let me go. Come on, Pups. So the Mavic Mini lives to fly another day. Uh, look, that was a good demonstration of the critical battery auto landing sequence. Uh, when the battery gets too low, then it will go into this critical landing sequence. And initially you can actually prevent uh, the descent. So the, if you don't actually have your hands on the sticks at all, it will just descend. But if you actually lift the left stick, it will rise up temporarily. But you can only do that for a very brief period of time until the battery gets down to its critical, critical battery, if you like and the drone realizes that it is about to deplete the battery completely. And at that point, no matter what you do, the drone will descend. If it's over water, it will go swimming. If it's still over a crop field, it will just descend. And that's what happened there. So there you go, look, a little roundup of all the different safety protocols that can kick in as the battery goes down to zero. Uh, they have their purpose, and as I said, they're designed to keep your drone safe. But in doing so, they will either make the drone rise up unexpectedly, which could catch you out and crash into an overhanging tree, or worse, it'll make it descend unexpectedly, and if that's over water, it'll go swimming, as I said, uh, and either way, uh, it, it can catch you out. So some of these things, as I said, you can override, and at least if you're forewarned, you're forearmed, you know what to anticipate, and you know what action to take if the drone is starting to behave in a way that you're not expecting. Anyway, as ever, if it's been helpful, give me a little thumbs up, helps the cause. And if you haven't already, hit the sub, ding the dong, get notified each time I put something out. Either way, until next time, stay safe and sane, have fun and happy flying.